What are we doing, Merritt? Putting some mineral in. Tell the people what we're doing. Why are we putting mineral in there? It's so then they have a healthy, healthy calf. Yeah. Well, in it out. You do it. Ooh, I don't know how to make a diamond bar. How do you make a diamond bar? A diamond with a bar under it. Dad, how do you make a diamond? Dad, I want to make a plan right in the diamond bar. Oh. I can promise you that I did not get the horses to come to a whistle. Booger. Get in there, booger, you bully. Go ahead, Crockett. Go on. You can go in there. Booger. Boys, where am I gonna ride? Where am I gonna ride, boys? There's no room for me. steer while my wife picks up the oil field pipe and sets the line posts and the answer is because even though I worked for a fencing company for three years I cannot set a straight line to save my ass so she gets stuck with the hard work and I sit in the skid steer I just had 10 wild, wild heifers that have been kind of up the river most of the winter that I tried getting. Major wreck. I think I almost had an asthma attack. Couldn't breathe. Had to hike like 50, I don't know, probably 50 yards straight up a cliff. And then there was like three foot sandstone top. And two of the heifers jumped it. And one of their calves followed them up it. So, uh, I've been very, very unproductive today, but thank goodness I have a good productive team. All right, put your seatbelt on. All right, now back it up. 
Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Yep, you can lower it a little bit as you back up. Yep. It looks good, my man. Just leave it right there. I believe when I was a kid, we had kind of a short wing coming into this lane up to the barn. And uh, that's where everything goes is up this lane into the west lot to the barn. But I've been kind of trying to make new ways to, I think we've got like three or four different ways we trail in there now. But building this wing, we just did oil field pipe with a top rail. And then we're hanging this really heavy uh, coal mine conveyor belt. St. Patrick's Day today, the wind has finally died down. The weather's nice. I think the ground's froze just enough that it's not gonna be muddy. And so I think I'm gonna go go fly. So I'm headed out to the hangar right now. And uh, I think I'll make a little video just of warming the plane up and getting it started. And we'll make a little ranch tour today. About there, I might have to chase some deer out of the way when I take off. They might leave when I start it up. Every once in a while, I've got cows out here, and it can be kind of a pain in the butt getting cows out of the way. But there's the wind sock, completely calm. It should be a perfect day. Somebody flew over the shop this morning and made me jealous, so I dropped Merritt off at school, and I'm coming up here. So. Hopefully, hopefully the plane starts up and go for a fly.
I will just hold it by my hand and we'll make a couple, make a couple short videos. Go fly over the heifers and I fly over the the headquarters. And then uh, I'll take a quick buzz up the river and turn around and come back and land before it gets windy. Well, I thought that that would make for a uh, sweet video, but as it turns out, my phone does not hold still enough in that little mount to make a clear video. So I'm not sure if any of that's gonna make the video because it looks like this most of the time. So it's perfect timing though. It's, ground is just starting to thaw out and get a little bit muddy and so Wind starting to pick up, so couldn't have been better timing.
Today I'm dragging the calving pasture where we fed for the last several months. Um, we didn't have stuff in here all winter, but uh, I dragged this chain link harrow here. It's pretty simple, not very complicated. And uh, this is a this is a hay field. So I guess when most people think of hay fields, they think of like Nebraska or big open hay fields. And a lot of the hay fields here in Northeast Wyoming are creek and river bottoms that have a bunch of oak and cottonwood trees and stuff. So had a bunch of down branches and just dead limbs and stuff. So as I go around and drag this uh, field, calving pasture, I pick up all the branches and stuff because we hay this in the summertime. Uh, the, this is like the equivalent of uh, people that keep their livestock like have them in a feedlot or something. This would be the equivalent of hauling manure out and spreading it on the fields or fertilizer or whatever. This harrow kind of everywhere that the hay is kind of thick. You can see like right here I bought that sorghum straw and it is kind of thick on the ground. It kind of just lifts up, lifts it up off the ground a little bit, spreads it out, spreads the cow manure out. Um, it's good fertilizer. Beets having to haul fertilizer out here, spreads it out really good. So in the winter time we feed with a bale processor and we just feed all over the whole hay field, all over the pastures. And then in the spring, this time of year, when it gets dry enough, you just drag this little chain link harrow across it and uh, kind of spread the spread the fertilizer around and get that hay that you fed all winter kind of up, get some air under it so the grass can grow. Um, I'm gonna see if I can, I don't know if you'll be able to see it very good from the ground, but I'm gonna see if I can get a video that you can see like a, a good difference of where I've harrowed and where I haven't yet, so you guys can kind of see. I'm just gonna walk straight towards this. This right here is where I have harrowed, up around this corner and then back. Just been going in circles, so it's not very, not straight lines. But uh, you can see this hay right here is all kind of matted down and all this manure. See all this is manure all through here. And this over here is what I have harrowed. It's all kind of broken up and smooth. And that's kind of the idea. It's just getting warm enough at night right now that the grass should really take off and go. It's like always a real exciting part of spring when you start seeing a little bit of green grass coming. Yeah, so that's the highlight, I guess, is when you start seeing a tint of green, start dragging these fields as quick as we can because anywhere that the hay is matted down really bad, the grass won't grow so right there you can see there's the line where I've harrowed and it kind of spreads it out and where I haven't so we'll drag that around and I don't know looks like I might have like an hour and a half left which is perfect because in about an hour and a half the national championships for division one wrestling start and I'm not gonna miss that so here we go Make it. I just lost Monopoly. Dad. My wife has the audacity to ask me to muck her stalls out for her. <laughs> no. Not no, but hell no. And Tate? I'm taking online bets to just see how friendly and 
remorseful these guys are about kicking my ass at Monopoly. Dad? What? Did you win?